Hi guys, I'm Noora from Capit Simplified. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about ethics. And I'm also going to talk to you about why ethics is important and how you can approach a bunch of questions that I have on my list. Um, so what is ethics? Ethics is something where you evaluate a scenario and decide what is morally right or morally wrong. So there you go. There is no right or wrong answer to an ethical scenario question. That's because each of us have a different perspective about what might be morally right or wrong. And the admissions committee is basically trying to see if you have that perspective to look at things from a different angle. So keep in mind that it's very important to think about it loudly. Like when, you are, when you are asked a question, um, you want to think global. You want to talk about your thought process. That's what they're looking at. They're not gonna. They're not. They're not gonna. They're not looking for a specific answer. So, um, having said that, I'm gonna quote the same famous example that I quoted uh, in my webinar. A simple example to explain to you about ethics is if you go into a convenience store and you get like a gallon of milk. And you walk out of the store and you find that you have extra change that you have. So now you have to decide whether you will have to go back into the store and return that extra change or walk home with that extra change. So those extra cents in your hand, it's not going to, you know, you're not going to go to jail for that. But it's still better, it's still morally right to go back into the store and give that, return that change back to the store manager. So that's what ethics is about. Let's go into a couple of questions that I can discuss um, from the interviewer's perspective. So the first question, um, let's say the interviewer asks you that a patient comes into your office and he tells you that he is HIV positive, but he also tells you that my wife doesn't know this, so please don't tell her. So what, what, what will you do? Will you tell the wife because, you know, the wife's got to know, wife's got to know what's happening, um, or will you not? Okay, so here it's like, what what is morally right? I would say that probably telling the wife is morally right, but you also have to consider something that's highly valued in the US, that's HIPAA. So you are some completely supposed to be confidential about whatever the patient tells you, his medical records, everything's supposed to be within you. Um, if the patient does not give you clearance to tell somebody, you do not have the right to tell them. So in this situation, um, what you can tell the admissions committee is start thinking loud. Um, tell that uh, this is what's morally right, but you know if I have to comply with HIPAA, so I, I it's not right to tell the wife about it. But what you can do is try to counsel the patient, talk to them about different options of, uh, you know, talk, of talking about this to his wife, and maybe that will work. That's one way of answering that question. Now let's look at a different question. And this is a very popular question, which is put in different ways. Um, one way that they put that is, they'll be like, okay, let's say I accepted you in the dental school and you're working in the clinic and your friend is working next to you. So you see that when he's working, he drops the mouth mirror and then he picks it back, keeps it again in his instrument tray and he's going to reuse it. So what would you do in this situation? It will be the, that their question. There are different approaches to this question based on what you guys think is morally right. Now, if I was asked this question, I would probably tell that uh, I will not react in front of the patient because it might break the trust of the patient, it might uh, startle the patient or it might um, tarnish the reputation of my friend with the patient. So what I would do is I would get a fresh set of instruments, set it on a tray and just walk away and probably after he's done with the case, I'm going to walk up to him and talk to him about what he's done and maybe try to explain to him that it's not right, it's not ethically right and that's how I would approach that situation. But everybody has different approaches. Another approach would be, you know, going to the director and informing them that something like that happened. But that would be a more um, aggressive approach, at least in my perspective. That can, be, that can be something that you can do if he continues to do the same thing. 
This question can be put in a variety of ways. Another way that they put this question is, you see your friend cheating in an exam and what would you do? So that's another way of doing it. Now, let's address another question that's also a very popular. Um, it's where you get accepted into the dental school and you're working with a patient. So there's one professor who's looking at the case and you guys discuss the treatment plan. So you have the patient come in on Wednesday to start the treatment. So the patient comes on Wednesday and you're about to start the treatment but another instructor walks to you, looks at the treatment plan and he says, no, 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 no. That's not how you do it. Let's, let's you know, do this treatment plan in a different way. So now he starts to give you a whole different treatment plan. What are you supposed to do? Now the other instructor who came up with the first treatment plan is not in office. He's not working that day. So what should you do? Should you follow the treatment plan that you discussed with, the, with your first instructor or the current instructor? Um, this is a very tricky question. They're trying to see how you will do in the dental office, in, in the clinic, because it's something that's very, very common. So what you have to understand in this situation is that every dental school has a clinical director. So if you do get accepted, you'll have a clinical director and then you'll have like these other instructors who will be taking care of you. So in such a situation, you would say that I understand that dental schools in the US have a clinical director. So in this situation, um, I would probably take that treatment plan, go to my clinical director, discuss with him or her about which treatment plan I should go with, explain to them the situation, get that treatment plan approved and then start with that. It is not wise to discuss with the patient because the patient's obviously going to lose trust in you. And a second thing is it's really not ethical to start with one instructor and continue with another instructor. It, it creates a lot of friction. So uh, you guys want to keep that in mind. As I said, there's a lot of ways to approach these ethical questions. Uh, the important thing to remember here is think out loud um, second thing is there is no right or wrong answer to these questions it's only about what's morally right and what's morally wrong so don't get tensed about it um, another thing what I want to put out there is that don't feel the need or the pressure to answer immediately it's okay to take a moment it's okay to take a breath um, drink some water think about it and then start answering um, ethical scenario questions can put you off track, but uh, just keep these points in mind and I hope that helped you. Thank you.